Hey guys, welcome back to another video. The camera quality might be a little bad, just the light is kind of dying. But, so, I'm going to be going over my military uniform collection, and I got a lot. So I'm going to try to get through it as quick as I can, but if I can't, it's going to be a longer video. So, let's get right into it. give you some information about it. My oldest uniform is a underdressing shirt. As you know, go into the uniform, and you, then you put the jacket over it, and that's from World War One. My newest uniform is like 2000, 1990 something. I that's just why did I say it like that? I don't know. But to start off, we have this Strategic Air Command bomber jacket, Gabriel, and it's NATO. The organization used by the United Nations, and I don't know, but the 379th MMS, I still don't know. Out of all the times I was re researching it, I couldn't find it. But on the back, it has the a zip open hood. I couldn't think of the word. So, that one's pretty nice. And here is a World War II overcoat. It's a quite a good liner. That's a pretty nice liner. Never. And F. Wojciechowski. I don't know how to say that. Probably butchered that horribly. But it's an army jacket. It's just a really a trench coat, an overcoat. Nothing too special. Looks pretty nice. Alright, right here is another World War II jacket. It's corporal rank. The other one didn't have a ranking patch. I I always forget this, but just patch. Alright, uh, I'm going to edit in what it is. Maybe. I Probably not, because I'm going to forget. But here is an occupation medal and a medal of good conduct. Sewn on. It's like one of the cloth ones. I don't know what that's on. This might be not World War II, but Korea? I don't know. I'm going to say a lot, a lot of I don't know because I haven't researched them in a while. Alright. Here's a winter trench coat. It's super thick wool. Like half an inch thick. These plastic buttons. Those are some of the weirder variety buttons. With giant pockets. They go down to right there. Alright, let's, let's, let's try to get my arm out. So, like, here. Alright, let's jack it out. So, like, here. That's quite a big pocket. There's no name. Besides 34R, I think that's, like, the size. Super short sleeves. These men had long legs. Short arms. Well, for the army, at least. The navy is a different story. Alright. Alright. So here is a sharpshooter marine jacket from World War II. I have a lot of World War II. Another plastic buttons. No name. But this is a private rank. And you can tell it's marksmen, water, riflemen, because they have the crossed M1 Garand with the red and green. No regiment patch or anything. Yet again, that's pretty cool. It's the U.S. Marines. <clears throat> and here is an... Speaking of the U.S. Marines, U.S. Marine Corps. Sleeveless shirt. I think the things are ripped off because the brew, the crude stretches and rips on it. Could also be moth holes. Quite a light thing. Jacket. Probably for the summertime. And here is a U.S. Army overcoat. Quite a heavy one. I had to have no idea what some of these patches are. But this patch, if you guys have any idea what it is, leave it in the comment section below. 
U.S. Army, as you can see. Has another one of those hoods. So just zip it and zip it. And the hood would be in here. On oh, my fingers. Oh, sorry. That one's heavy. A lot of these are quite heavy, heavy jackets. But here is a Vietnam War coat. It's a limb of U.S. Army. So I think that's private or below private patch. It's quite a short one. Pants, are, I think, are under that pile now. I'm not going to dig under that. But here, here's a cool one. Right here, it, it used to say, with the abbreviation, U.S. Air, U.S. Army Air Force, so USAAF, and here would be, this is a engineer coat. If you, uh, if you could smell it, you'd just smell oil and gas. It's from World War II. You can tape type A4, it says on that, yeah, and it says... Property Air Force U.S. Army. The little chain. I don't know what the chain is there. This one is quite tall. <laughs> Here. Because I think I bought it the day after that one. This is a man that had watched... That had put the guys on the boat for when they ship overseas. He'd have... This, it's like a little life preserver. You blow it up from this nozzle, rubber nozzle. And it has three metals. I had to put this on. I found it in a pocket, but this crumbled up. This hat crumbled up with it. That was pretty cool. It's a private. So that's really a cool one. I don't know if it has a name. No, it doesn't. It might be a hat. Yeah, I don't think this one has a name. Now that I film with my phone, I've always filmed with my phone, I've realized the struggle of just trying to flip around the jackets. So here is the newest one, the U.S. Army one. It doesn't have the Velcro, but it's still quite new. It's a lieutenant, the old iron side with the paratrooper thing, the U.S. flag. It's not too special. It's like a common one. Nevertheless, quite cool. And here's my favorite. It is a inventory jacket from, I think, Presidential Award with a rifle marksman thing and a, another marksman, uh, expert marksman on something I will never find out. This is just a, sar a plain sergeant with a purple heart. Uh, I keep forgetting that one. American something campaign. Occupation, victory, good conduct, and defense. I'm pretty sure. American defense. Here is one jacket. It's yet again quite heavy with the perfect liner. <coughs> it's a private. And the tag. It's like overprinted four times. Yet again, the same patch that I forget. There's that. That other one I think is like a Hawaii stationed one. In the patch. Like where his boot was. Yeah. But here's the ones I was talking about. Super long arms. Super short shirt. Those are the pants coming out. It's a navy uniform. This one doesn't have the name stitch in. But it has the, the walking chicken. Yeah, the chicken. Goes on the giant pile now. This one has the name stitch in with some rainbow stitching. I can't read that. It's El Gracum? I don't know. If you guys can read the name, I'll give you a little still shot. I'm gonna pause it. And find out what it is. Say it in the comments below. Here's the neckerchief that went with that. Put it on the neck. As a name, Neckerchief. Here's the oldest one I own. The World War One 
undercoat. Is this ripped? I forget where it's ripped. I don't think this is a ripped one. I might have three of these. But here's World a World War One uniform undercoat. You wore under the main jacket. It's quite a big one for being over a hundred years old. By a year. <laughs> Here's a Swedish one. Whole flag. Swedish airman jacket, I guess I as my brother said. It's more modern. My guess is like the eighties ish. If you guys know yet again, leave it in the comments. I say that a lot, I just Need some information on this. My brother gave this one to me a couple years ago. He used to collect and stopped over time. But here is a cool one. It is Master Sergeant Army Undercoat. Stock number. That's just a super long number. With 16 by 33. Just a tan under coat as well. Here's another World War II jacket, that patch. Mm, it's too. And here ha is an undercoat and a jacket. This one was actually quite cheap for the contents it has. Two bars, the overcoat, the undercoat, and the pants. A little story. My friend, grandpa or great grandpa, was in World War Two, and they have the jacket, and I never heard of this division before. They brought it up, the Pine Tree Division. <laughs> I hear the, a Vietnam jacket. I lost that little piece. I'm gonna buy another bar, like a reproduction, and just put that on. It's an Engineer Division. But I just fold up the sleeve so I can wear it to school to show people. And here's another patch. And that. It's 11 minutes. Okay, this isn't as long as I thought. We're getting near the end. So here is a trench coat. A World War II Army trench coat. I have a lot of Army stuff, if you haven't noticed. And some Navy. Some Marine. It's the number... And here is the marine jacket you saw in the corner. It's missing the little badges. I don't. I'm just. I'm quite tired at this point. Ooh. Pins. That you'd wind in the back. That'd be like a little screw, and it'd screw into that little hole. And lastly, a. Like Vietnam War West Point jacket. This was the last one. It's I don't know what that is. Yet again. It's the same patch as one of the World War Two jackets from West Point. Got this at a flea market. This is pretty cool. Hope you guys guys like this video. Like so if you did like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your days. Day. Goodbye. Save the squirrels.